I want to talk directly to Proviso East tonight and the products of this school. I just have a simple question for all of you. I want to know who needs white supremacy when you take a look at a place like Proviso East High School and what they have produced. A black school where damn near all of the graduates turn into white supremacists. They have black faces but speak like white Klansmen. They have dark black skin but their attitudes towards black is closer to Adolf Hitler's. Negroes on Facebook in their 30s. They don't even need a white Klansman to tell them, you niggers can't have businesses and build. They don't need a Klansman or white supremacist to do anything anymore. Negroes making music videos that are just blatantly showing that they don't have any agenda, any plan, any goals. Music videos, look at us sitting down on a porch. Look at us, we're grown men sitting down on a porch. Meanwhile, white men make shows and videos of themselves showing themselves got some work to do. Asian man, yeah, we got some work to do. We got an agenda. Indians, Arabs, we got some work to do. We got an agenda. But these Negroes, they're like, hey, let us sit on the steps. Let me make a video showing that we don't have anything going for ourselves except sitting on a porch. And the Negresses on Facebook, they don't need a Klansman to insult them anymore. You don't need the slave master to come out the house and say, hey, you cut that trash off your head. You know that trash that grows directly out of your scalp? I want you to cut that crap off. Can tell the Klansmen, go take a vacation. We got this lock. You can take a month long hiatus here. You can just flat out die because the Negresses over on Facebook are more than happy. They're proud all over Facebook, showing off their wigs. Ooh, look at my wig. Look at my wig. They're just proud, putting up pictures of them on their wedding day, the day they're supposed to look the most beautiful in a wig. What do we need the white Klansman for anymore, Proviso East? What's his job? You're black, but you're just like the white Klansman. Black face, but you talk and think and speak like a white supremacist. You don't even need the white supremacist anymore to, to treat your women like sexual objects. The women, they're volunteering to do that picture after picture on Facebook. Look at my rear. Did you see my rear? Oh, yeah. And back, I got a butt. I've got a rear back there. Did I mention my rear? I forgot to mention that I have a rear. Hey, hey, what's behind me? I've got a butt back there. Did I ever tell you that I've got a butt? Hey, hey, look at this. I, I've got an ass. Hey, uh, what's on my backside? Uh, did you see my curves? Hey, I, I've also got cleavage. Hey, there, there's some cleavage here. Let me, let me take a photo of my face and I'll just angle the camera like this. Look, look at my cleavage. Left and right, practically showing nipples off on Facebook. You don't even need Massa anymore. You don't need Massa. Massa used to have to stop slaves. Massa used to have to stop them from singing rebellious music. Don't you forget that. His job used to be to be on the plantation and he was going to stop you guys from getting any funny ideas about freedom. He was going to stop you from trying to profit from all the work you were doing. Massa used to come along and say, hey, stop all that talk. Stop singing about freedom. Why don't you sing about love and happiness? How's that? Stop, stop all this freedom talking. Uh, you, you don't need to sling, sing about black empowerment. But look at Proviso East. It looks like between the parents, the school, the community, and culture, it looks like class after class after class of broken Negroes. Massa doesn't have to stop or force you to stop singing about black empowerment because you're voluntarily listening to Drake posting up on Facebook. Hey, I listen to Drake who's not talking about anything useful, doesn't even know the word black empowerment. 
They're curious about Beyonce. Liking that on Facebook. This is what I like, Beyonce. I like some Katy Perry. Could give a damn about black empowerment. Posting it on Facebook. Ooh, I like Slim Shady. He's not afraid to talk about anything. Meanwhile, he's afraid to talk about Eric Garner and Mike Brown. He's afraid to talk about Eric Garner and Mike Brown. That's what he's afraid to talk about. But then when Negroes think just like a white supremacist, they're still making excuses for little black boys getting gunned down, talking about, well, it's Mike, it's Mike Brown's fault because uh, uh, he, he stole something. Oh, yeah, he stole, so we're going to gun down kids that still Good. Give me the gun. I know which neighborhood I'm going to go to then. I know which store I'm going to sit outside then if we're going to gun down kids. But you're not talking about gunning down white kids, are you? That would just be wrong. No, I said we're all people and I'm going to take the gun and gun down some kids that still. It shouldn't matter what color we are. But Negroes are still making excuses. This is what Proviso East has just produced. Broken Negro after broken Negro after broken Negress. Not concerned about anything. Got all these pictures of their kids on Facebook, not showing anything they've given to the kids. Showing that their kids are living in poverty. Just proud. Look at my kids. They don't have anything. Look at them just playing in the dirt. They don't have anything. I don't have anything prepared for them. I'm barely getting by. And that's what they're posting on Facebook. Proud, they're barely getting by, about to send kids off into the world to compete. Posting overly effeminized black gay boys videos dancing like women. All the gestures and hands waving and swaying their legs and doing little crotch thrusts and splits and kicking their head left and right like women. What do you even need the Klansman for? What's his job at this point? His job used to be to destroy the next generation of black boys. But now you're like, well, well um, I, I want to show that uh, this little boy's got some talent. Even though he's behaving just like a woman, he's got some talent. And even though we know he's not going to be alive to, to reproduce one day, he's not going to be able to reproduce. See, they had to kill Trayvon and Michael Brown to stop them from reproducing, but we just celebrate all these gay little boys out there. We're going to celebrate it. Think just like a white supremacist. Black face white supremacist. You don't even need the Klansmen to say that you can't get education. His job used to be to say, you niggers can't get education. You niggers got to remain stupid. But the Negroes on Facebook are just proud. They're proud to let you know that they're interested in stupid, nonsensical gibberish. I got to post this link of some black heads in the fight. Oh, I got to post this link of some more black men in the fight. Oh, yeah, then I, I got this other video of the black men. They're fighting over shoes. Oh, yeah, and then this, this one, these black men are fighting over a woman. Oh, I got to post this link of these black women. They're fighting over wigs. Oh, I got to post this link over black children calling each other niggers. Should we just call the Klansman now? Should we just tell him that he doesn't need to come back to do his job? We got this locked. Everything you were doing, Massa, we got it down locked. You don't need to make us look bad. I can do that. You don't need to force me to cut my hair and put on a wig. I want to do that. You don't need to force me to live like an animal. I'm happy living like an animal. You don't need to impoverish me anymore. I'm happy being in poverty. In fact, I'm going to post up some pictures on Facebook of me and my family living in poverty.
His job used to be to tell you, you can't go anywhere. You'll never make it anywhere in this world, nigga. You can't go anywhere, nigga. You won't get anywhere. That used to be his job. Now, Negroes on Facebook are just happy. Proud. I didn't go anywhere. I'm still in this place where I grew up. I left for like a year or two when I went off to college. Then I dropped out. But I'm right back here. Didn't go anywhere. Not fixing to go anywhere. Not set up to go anywhere. It's almost impossible for me to go anywhere. What do we even need Massa for anymore? We've taken over all his responsibilities. This is just disgusting. This is the most disgusting thing I've seen in a long time. If you want to know why we're so easy to be victimized, why you want, if you want to know why we're such easy targets, you don't have to look very far. When the white supremacist is in your home and in the mirror looking at you, no wonder we can't get anywhere. You Negroes are going to be transformed. The Negro is going to die and he's going to be reborn into a black man. You're going to learn to stand on two feet. You're going to learn to produce families. You're going to learn to produce money. You're going to build your own companies and organizations. You're going to learn not to live in the gutter of society or you're going to perish. This is 2015. The world is gearing up to compete. You're not ready yet. You're displaying inappropriate behavior and it's time to change. Stand up, black man. Stand up, black woman. Show us what you're made of. Show us that you can compete. Put up your dollars. Let me see those businesses I know you're capable of. The white supremacist inside has to die and be replaced with black empowerment. I'm Bertie Tolar. Get the slave boxes out of your home. 7 a.m. It's time for 7 a.m. The documentary. It's in Chicago. 7 a.m. Google that. Jason Black, 7 a.m.